Hey guys, welcome to What's in the Box. I'm Jared, and this is the show where we tell you and show you what's in the box. On today's episode, we have the Whiskey Order, where a whiskey adventure awaits inside. So the Whiskey Order sends you samples from around the world so it can help you find and discover new whiskeys. And it starts at about $60 a month. Uh, what do you say we educate our palates and explore the world of fine whiskey, shall we? You have four, four new whiskeys in a, a decent sampler tasting size. Little explanation card here about what they do. I would like to taste it before I refer to this uh, so I have an unbiased view. First up, we have Gordon and McPhail Glenbergy. I don't know how that's pronounced, but that's how I'm saying Glenbergy. Uh, 10, so I believe that is a 10 year aged whiskey. Uh, alcohol by volumes, 40%. Yeah, let's uh, and no, I'm not a heathen. I'm not gonna shoot it out of this thing. I have a glass. It's not the right glass, but it's a glass. It smells kind of sweet. It smells kind of oaky. That's a rather pleasant uh, finish, actually. Sometimes whiskeys have a harsh, burning finish. This doesn't. Second taste was actually better than the first. It's a, it's a sweet whiskey. Like I said, oaky and maybe some toffee or, or some kind of some kind of sweet, sugary thing. Delicious. I could drink this for hours. I really could. Well, let's refer to the card here. Yep. Rich fruit with a sweet, oaky taste. Nailed it. Oh, oh, I guess they're all from the Gordon McPhail distillery. I'm just now putting that together. Uh, yes, it is the Gordon McPhail tasting flight. See, when you read the card, you get all kinds of information. Scotland's premier independent bottlers. Let's say we, ooh, this is a nice light color. 43% alcohol by volume. It's Macallan 2006. Definitely not as strong, uh, a strong uh, alcohol flavor. Um, I get I get hints of chocolate, maybe, maybe some orange or some some kind of citrus. Very, it's definitely sweet. I can tell you now, it's gonna be sweet. So let's let's go in and taste. A little peppery, yeah. There's there's that orange or citrus. Uh, a little sweet, yeah. And there's that uh, a nice silky like chocolatey finish. As you can see, it's not it's not very it's not very dark. It's not very viscous. I don't know if this is a all the time whiskey for me. I'll call it a dessert whiskey. Finish my meal with this whiskey. Since it's a Scottish distillery, technically we're drinking scotch. Let's read the card here. Orange zest and subtle oak flavors, uh, creamy chocolate edge. Yeah, so we get pretty good. Let's go with a, we'll go with the Glen Turret 2000. This is a 16 year old scotch, 43% alcohol by volume. Yeah, right away you can see that this has a, a, a richer golden brown tone. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm showing you in a smoked glass, but this is a very fruity whiskey. Uh, fruity, uh, I smell banana, maybe clove? Maybe bananas and cloves? It's an interesting, it's definitely an interesting odor. Yeah, right away you taste that banana flavor. Um, it's not an overpowering banana, but it's the first one that hits you, or hits me. So after the banana, I get a, Again, a, like a hint of chocolate. That banana, it's, it's an interesting like banana note combo, combo with that chocolate chase, the chocolate finish. This is not a everyday whiskey for me. Um, I don't know that I could do this one. It's a little sweeter than I enjoy. Uh, that was the Glen Turret. Let's see, sweet with pear, banana, and cocoa powder. Okay, um, so I, I was chocolate and banana. I'm getting, my olfactory senses are, are pretty decent. Finally, we have uh, the Glen McPhail Longmorn 12, 12 year, 43% alcohol by volume. This is a very interesting uh, nose and bouquet. Whiskey, uh, it definitely sells, smells sweet. Sweet, sweet and fruity. Sweet, fruity, and maybe, maybe some chocolate. Sweet, fruity, and chocolate. I'm gonna go with sweet fruit chocolate. Uh, let me tell you, uh, I know there are little samples of whiskey, but I'm a little inebriated at this point. I mean, I guess I just did, you know, three shots of whiskey in three minutes. Yeah, definitely some kind of chocolate or, or cocoa powder, like in the last one. Uh, I can't place the fruit flavor. Uh, it seems like it's a couple different kinds of uh, flavors dancing around in there. Peppery, a little peppery, which is nice. But maybe like an amaretto-ish kind of flavor. So what's amaretto? Almond, like it's an almond type uh, finish. That was the Longmorn uh, 12, 
peppery with a milk chocolate edge, uh, stewed fruit and almond flavors. So yeah, so that's pretty, pretty tasty. So that was the whiskey order. Uh, I would have to say that my favorite was probably the McPhail Glen, Glen uh, It's more of the, an everyday scotch or whiskey that I could drink. Uh, it's not too fruity, it's not too sweet. Um, but yeah, they were all, they were all pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, definitely you, you won't go wrong buying uh, some of this stuff for a, a good night out or a good night in, depends how it goes. A huge thank you to The Whiskey Order for sending us this box. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for us next. If you guys want to get your own whiskey order, head over to whiskeyorder.com or click the link below. We here at What's in the Box are doing a monthly giveaway where one lucky viewer can win a What's in the Box grab bag uh, of all kinds of cool curated stuff by us. So not only are we unboxing things, but we're putting them in a box and sending them off to you. If you like this episode, please consider becoming a Patreon. Every dollar you give helps us bring you more boxes. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe below. Uh, and tell us what your favorite uh, malt of scotch whiskey uh, bourbon is. This has been What's in the Box. I'm Jared. Thanks for watching.